Oh, it is Friday and our tailgate rolls mm -hmm. on as the high school regular season it's winding down already. I can't believe it. Fascinating. Flying, flying by. It's Chapman and Broom. It's our game of the week. That's right. So we got our crew there. We got Carmine May in the middle of the whole Ooh. student section, I mean, it looks yeah, like. they're getting pumped up with yeah. their little But we are balloons. anchored down by our chief meteorologist, Kendra Kent, and sports director, Beth Hull. Let's go and start with them. And it looks like you guys have some company in all aspects of these Friday night lights. Kendra? Oh Oh yes, it's getting it's getting wild out here. We're having a lot of fun though, hanging out with the cheer squad. And I've got a couple of the seniors here. What are your names again? Bryce Lee. Wonderful. Riley Lance. All right, and you guys again have been involved with this for four years. What has it meant to you to be part of such an accomplished squad? Um, it's been really great. I get to make a lot of friends, and we just love seeing the team progress throughout the years. Wonderful. And you know, tonight is obviously a very big game. You know, what's it like to cheer on the team for when, with so much on the line? It's very exciting, and we're excited to bring all of our energy tonight. Excellent. And I'm over here with some of the coaches of the Chapman Cheer Squad. And this is such an important part of what you guys do and it's important for that school spirit. But you guys also have your own competitive season as well. And you guys have had a really strong track record uh, when it comes to the region. I know you guys are gearing up to claim a yet another region title and make a run at state. Yes, ma'am. We're on going for our fourth consecutive title at region and hope to win state this year as well. What stands out about these young women and what they're able to do when it comes to that competitive side of it, that other half to their season? They're very dedicated and they can persevere through anything. They, they persevere through injuries and illnesses and they're the most dedicated team we've ever had. You guys also have the chance to recognize your seniors here today, the football team, the band, and everybody's celebrating their seniors today. What has this senior class meant to your guys' squad? Well, for me, it's been the past three years I've got to spend with them, and they really have brought a lot to this team, their personalities, their dedication to cheer, um, and we just love them so much, and we can't wait to see where they'll go after this. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We understand you guys are going to do a cheer for us as well, so we will right, pan over, over to check out the rest of the cheer squad here as they get set uh, to give us one of their cheers. Blue and white go Panthers. Blue, white, blue and white go Panthers. Blue, white, blue and white go Panthers. Blue, white, blue and white go Panthers. One, two. Let's go, Jasmine! Awesome. Thank you so much, ladies. And now I want to pitch it over to the stands where things are getting a little bit crazy. Carmine's up there and, uh, oh, yeah. What's going on, Carmine? Yeah, Kendra, as you can tell, these fans are very enthused. The Panthers are on the prowl. And I'm speaking with the student body president here, senior Kaya Grace. Now, Kaya, you got a lot of support here behind you. What does it mean to you, you think, when you're looking back on this situation, you became the student body president of your high school? Why was that so important to you? It was just really important to me because I believe that every student deserves to have a good high school experience, and I believe that that's what I'm trying to offer. Me and the rest of our team, the student council, I'm just really excited for this year and everything that we're looking forward to. Sounds like you're campaigning for re-election, although I know that's impossible. No, <laughs> she's doing a great job. Now, what was the inspiration behind the pink? You can tell the pink glasses, the pink noisemaker. What inspired that for tonight? Well, of course, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we got to show support for that. But who doesn't love pink? Everybody loves pink. So we're out here wearing the pink tonight. Yep. yep, pink is a great color. You got the onesie on, the flamingo. We have uh, a bunch of different outfits. We have a, a masked man with his pink going on, pink shorts as well. This student section's very enthused. Now, I know this game tonight is for the region championship. You guys are fifth in the state, broom seventh in the state. What's the feeling among the student section about whether or not you guys will be able to take care of business? I think we're really optimistic about it. We've been really supportive of our team this year, and we're looking forward to the finishing the season strong. And what do you like most? I know, I know you guys came here early to be a part of this, which we really appreciate. What do you like most about being a part of the student section and showing that spirit in front of the football team? Well, I think the community of Inman is just great in general. We're really close-knit, and so being out here with the students is especially important because we get to meet each other and just hang out and support our team. All right, Kaya Grace, thank you so much for the time. A future missionary as well. But the spirit is here, and you can feel it in Inman. We got a huge top-ten matchup in the state, and guys, they're ready for it. 